Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat malam. Uh, welcome back, everyone, from a long Tifa Bali holiday. Kita punya rakan-rakan yang sambung di Bali dah ada belum dalam ni? Atau sambung lagi di Bali? <laughs> Alright. So, hopefully that you have a enjoyable holiday tadi pun waktu highway tadi nak balik dari apa uh, <coughs> parit raja tu memang jam daripada exit air, air tam tu sampai sampai ke sekudai memang jam panjang ok jap saya ada masalah uh, screen jap alright So what we're going to cover today, uh, tonight is about uh, still about the process control. So we have covered part one uh, last weekend, last Sunday. So now we're going to cover the, the, the part two, which is more on the variable analysis for individual control loops. So let's start by reflecting by looking back what we have learned or what we have discussed last Sunday. So we're gonna we we'll talk about the simple application in our daily life, the shower problem, how that we identify the variable related to shower, the variable, the control variables related to the to the shower. Uh, kita juga dah tengok and how that we define the feedback control, some example for the level control, how we design a level control, a feedback level control by using uh, two different type of manipulated variables, input, a uh, stream in, then juga uh, stream out. Dan juga kita tengok one example how that we design a feedback, uh, sorry, it's not feedback, a feed forward a level control. And we identify, I give you one simple tips or hints how to identify the feedback control. How to identify the feedback control? Apa hint dia? Ingat lagi? We measure is what we control. Yeah, thank you, Ketua Kampung. Which oh. is uh, the le uh, the control variable is the same with the measured variable. Okay. So in order to identify all these variables, I juga bagi hints macam mana kita nak relate it with the instrumentation. Asal kau terbatuk tu kan tu. Okay, how we relate those variables with the instrumentation. So, below you know, identify the variables, you look at the, for example, for the manipulated variable, you just look at the control bar. Control bar to brother the stream manner. And that's become your manipulated variable. And manipulated variables only consider flow rate. Remember, it's only considered flow rate. So, lepas ni kita akan tengok banyak exercise yang kita akan uh, yang kita akan uh, revisit which is on the variable classification exercise on the variable classification so always remember that when we are talking about manipulated variable is only a flow rate so be specific what kind of flow rate which flow rate sebab so, flow rate tu ada banyak dalam sesuatu sistem in our plan, process plan, there is a lot of uh, process. Uh, sorry, a lot of flow rate. So be specific. Okay. So if you want to identify the control variable, you just look at the controller. Look at the first uh, alphabet after the uh, before the before the C. So kalau the LC, there is basically a level controller. 
So the control variable is a level. Kalau dia FC, this is a flow controller. Therefore, the control variable adalah flow rate. You just look at the first alphabet after the C. Next is how we identify the measurement or the, the measured variable. <coughs> okay, very simple. You just look at the sensor or indicator. So, kalau dia dalam sensor tu dia tulis itu LI ataupun LT which is a level transmitter or LI, level indicator. So, therefore, our measured variable is a level. Okay, kalau dia tulis itu XT or XI so that is basically is the composition the uh, indicator or composition transmitter. So the measured variable is composition. Okay, and the most difficult is disturbance. You cannot refer any disturbance with any instrumentation. So you need to have a knowledge, process knowledge. Again, process knowledge is very important. Either it's on the operation, either in the control, either it's on, on design. So the knowledge on the process is very important here. All right, so let's revisit process control part two. Okay. I do believe it's most of you already uh, respond on the some of this question here. But yeah, it's pretty weird, so we can take off and do two. I'm sure that, yeah. Salah betul, that is basically common in learning. Okay, you learn from the mistake, but never make it, ataupun make it happen again. Okay, if you look at this variable classification, variable classification is very important. First thing first, when we are talking about process operation, especially process control, we need to understand first, or we need to able to classify variables involved in the process control or in a single control loop. Just that we able to understand, fully understand the process. Okay. Uh, Hopefully that you still remember that about the, the second law of process control that I have mentioned, I think, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, okay? The second control law, which is very important, understand the process very well before you want to control it, okay? That is the most important uh, rules that you need to apply. Next semester, when you go to the industry for your practical, so please understand all the process. Like I said, what is your assignment there, Nanti? But if you don't understand the process very well, then you may having a lot of problem understanding the process of, or if your task is basically to operate that process, you may have a lot of problem. Okay? So in a single control loop, so we need to classify four different variables, which is CV, we call it a control variable. So Singkatan dia adalah CV, manipulated variable, MV, measured variable, measured variable, uh, usually I use uh, MS, small s, MSV, and last but not least is disturbance. So these four variables are very important for you to classify. Once you're able to classify this, then the operation will be much better for you to handle it, to maintain it, to control it. Okay? Right, so let's go for this simple exercise. So the question is, please identify all variables involved in this level control system. So we have covered this, actually. Okay, so this is a level control system for a tank, closed loop tank. Uh, SSS kita sebelum ni open, op, open tank kan? So this is a closed tank. So we have the control bar, the level control bar. We have a controller, level controller. So we have a level uh, transmitter there. Uh, pump, 
always have a pump before the valve, not not uh, after valve. The pump should be before valve. There is a reason. Uh, this is also about the management of, of operation. Why that? We need to have a pump before the level, not after the level. Any any opinion on this? Sebelum kita pergi kepada variable classification. Is there any specific reason in your opinion, from your knowledge, from whatever that you have learned uh, before, why that you need to put pump before the bar? Anyone, please? Aziz Iskandar, mulut engkau tu nak jawab ke ataupun nak, uh, tengah mengunyah tu? Giling-giling kepala. Any idea why that we need to put control valve before, eh, we need to put pump before control valve? Hafiz kata. Kenapa pula Hafiz? Ya, kan tu? Anyone please? Oh, untuk pam air lagi kuat orang kata. Oh, kau duduk dekat-dekat ni dengan siapa tu? Ingat Aziz ke? Eh? Kau tu penengung. Uh, nak bagi power, nak bagi power apa? The pump uh, horsepower? To boost the pump horsepower? Noha kenapa pula pakai chat selalu kau suara laju je. To have the liquid flow out with constant flow rate. Yes. That is the purpose of pump. Okay. Maintaining the flow rate at the constant value. Maintaining eh? at the constant value. You can change the, the value by changing the pumping capacity ataupun the pumping power okay but that's not answer the question untuk remain pressure untuk maintain pressure uh, not that sorry but thank you for answering that lagi anyone Kadang awak nampak muka saya ke tepi, tengok tepi saya, saya, saya pakai dua skrin sekarang ni. Lepas tu saya kadang tengok depan, tengok tepi. Anyone? Guy, uh, girls? Nuha seorang je yang jawab ni. Yang lain mana? <coughs> It's basically relate with the safety okay. apa yang Noha cakap yes I mentioned there is, is right but that is, that is the, the, the purpose or the function of pump but putting pump before the control valve is for the safety for the safety of the pump itself okay Can you imagine if you put the pump after the control valve, what will happen? Kalau tiba-tiba control valve, you know what happened to control valve? What happened to the control valve? It keep open and close. Okay? Itu itu control valve. Buka tutup, buka tutup. But what happened kalau you put the control valve after uh, pump after the valve kalau time to pada masa tersebut tiba-tiba control valve is closed uh, rosak fully closed contoh contohnya fully closed apa yang rosak you know okay, there's nothing about uh, apa 
explosion here, blowing here. Okay? Sebab pump takkan build apa takkan build pressure. Pressure is about uh, vapor. If there is accumulation of vapor, then the vapor will be the pressure will be the vapor will be uh, pressure will be built up. What will happen? Kalau you put if you put the control the the, the pump after the valve, if in that time suddenly the the control valve is fully closed, what will happen to the flow? Okay, this situation you need to really understand and able to answer it because this is about operation. This is about plant management. Okay, so the location of your instrument, the location of your equipment is very important here. Bukannya saja saja nanti you all about plant design. Bukannya saja saja you letak control valve tu merata rata lah. If you put the control valve at the pump after the control valve, when the the control valve is fully closed, then there's no flow rate at all. Okay, there is no flow rate at all. Then what happened to pump? Kerja pump ni apa? Not objective. Objective tadi macam Nuhah cakap, objective is to maintain the flow rate at the, at the constant value. Tapi apa specifically pump ni buat? Pump air. Pump air. It's basically pumping what? Tak semestinya air. It's pumping liquid. Pump is pumping a liquid. Kalau tak ada liquid, tak ada flow rate, no liquid. Pump bergerak non-stop. Dia pump uh, mungkin uh, air saja, utara saja, then it will apa, overheat and rosak. Okay, ingat uh, pumping, uh, pump is only uh, the, 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 the function of pump is to move or to transport a liquid from one point to another point pump a liquid. The same thing also for the compressor. <clears throat> okay. What is the objective at open what is the function of compressor? Nah. Huh? Yeah, doctor. <laughs> compressor will what up? Um Actually, sama macam pump lah kan? Increase pressure, yes. Tapi dia buat apa? Apa yang dia transport? Oh, gas. Okay. Only gas. No mixture. Pump only liquid. No mixture. No solid. If you have a slurry, then you cannot use the pump. You need to have a suitable pump that can transport slurry you cannot pump gas you can only compress gas if you want to move the gas from one point to another point okay so what happened kalau gas dalam tu you don't have any gas at all then sama akan jadi juga sama macam pump nanti compress itu akan rosak so that's why you need to put either compressor or pump before valve. Kenapa kalau time tu control valve close pun total flow uh, to, total close liquid masih ada masih ada lagi because liquid come from the tank. The only thing that, the only thing that happen is there is accumulation there. There is a pressure built there. Tapi flow masih lagi ada. Okay. So, sama juga kalau you ada uh, compressor. So, you want to compress the, 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 the vapor at the top of this tank. Then, after that, you need to have a control valve. Of course, you may have a several uh, manual valve or hand valve in between. But that is basically for, for the safety purposes for you to do the bypass. Okay? 
But the real thing is, if you have a control valve, since control valve is basically automated, it can be suddenly closed, it can be suddenly open. Therefore, you need to put that after your auxiliary equipment, after the pump, after the compressor, after the expander. Otherwise, kalau you letak sebelumnya, then those auxiliary equipment akan rosak. Okay? So, ini juga akan basically dalam plan operation dan plan management kena 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 ambil, kena ambil, kena ambil, kena ambil berat. You need to also consider this. And to, and to a consideration when you want to plan. Okay, when you want to plan the pre-commissioning nanti. Okay. But during the pre-commissioning nanti, you need to check all this instrumentation setting. Okay, all right. Yeah, that is for the safety, not the safety of the personnel, not for the safety of the uh, people. It's safe, it's all, uh, it's for the safety of the equipment. Okay, all right. That's why level control is penting juga. You need to have a certain minimum level. You tak boleh tank to dry up because you have a pump after that. Okay, that's why level control is important. That's why the third rules, but the third law of process control is always control level. <clears throat> so, and therefore, you maintain the mass balance is to stabilize the process. But for the for the safety purposes, for the equipment, that is basically to maintain the minimum level size that you pump, because pump is keep pumping. If you not stop there, you need to have a backup. Remember when you want when you plant when you <coughs> when you design your plant your chemical plant, dalam you punya drawing dalam you punya PFD of course you only have one pump, but if you draw your PNID, you need to draw a backup pump. It's a must. Uh, you all the buat tak boleh lepas. Okay, all right. <coughs> okay, so. This is basically that uh, our closed tank level control system. Let's get to the question of the question. Share your thought. Okay, so what is your CV? What is your measured variable? What is your measured variables? And what you? What is your disturbance? Uh, <coughs> okay. Apa lah yang mention pump power? Siapa yang start ni sampai semua ikut? Sufi tak ada. Bukan Sufi. Setelah mana Sufi? Senyap je Sufi ni minggu ni. Where are you Sufi? Tong, dia datang ke Tong? Or oh, friend tu? Uh, kejap lah. Saya check. Haa, you check ni. Oh. Bagus ada, ada toki attendance ni. <coughs> Kau tengah makan. Haziq Skandar kau tengah makan. Ada, ada dulu. doktor. Ada, ada. Ada ke? Pasal dia senyap. Malu-malu ke dia? Dia trendsetter apa? <laughs> okay. So kita tengok what is a control variable. So how you identify the control variables? What equipment ataupun instrumentation that you need to refer at? Apa dia? Instrument apa yang kita nak tengok? Aziz Iskandar on lah kau punya tu kalau nak cakap mic tu. Man, selalu kau taip laju je kan ni. Pak Haji, Pak Haji lepai. Kan tu. So when yeah, you want to, ya. Yeah. Apa dia doktor? Bila nak identify what equipment that you refer at when you want to identify control variable? What instrumentation that you need to look at? Masa dah tamat? You look at... Look at the controller. 
So now kita ada LC. So what is our control variable? Level. Those yang jawab level, <coughs> tengok berapa ramai yang jawab level. <coughs> so level saja salah. It's not a level. It's a tank level. So we are talking about tank here. Uh, it's a level of a thing. So that is your control variable. Then we have a measured variable. Uh, measured variable. Okay, still the same. So it's a level of a thing. Manipulated variable. Ah, ini ada macam-macam. Ada inlet, ada outlet. Mostly inlet. Terus sekarang, control valve tu berada di mana? Inlet ke outlet? Outlet. Okay. So, and the control variable always be a floor rate. So it's a flow rate out. Ataupun uh, flow rate thing outlet flow rate mbole everything is a flow rate out of the thing. Okay. So measured variable is a level of the thing. Control variable is a level of the thing. So do do summer. So what kind of control strategy here? To control the level. No, I'm talking about control strategy now, huh? When your control variable and measured variable is the same. Feedback or feed forward? Feed forward. Feedback. Hanzul, feed forward. Salah, salah. Okay, measure the control variable sama, so it's a feedback. Okay, now we are talking about the last, which is basically ramai yang salah ni. Disturbance. What variables, okay, when we are talking about variables, we're talking about these four. There are four. Chlorate, temperature, pressure, composition. Is any of these four variables can disturb or can change the level of the tank. Which one do you think? Jangan tengok jawapan tu. Jawapan tu tak betul. Chlorine. Inlet chlorine. Inlet chlorine. Okay. Be specific. Tank inlet chlorine. Sebab nanti ini cuma ada satu tank saja. Kalau you ada enam tank, so which tank? With in a fluorite of the tank that you want to refer at, which one? So tank, kalau tank one, tank one lah, kalau tank two, tank two. So that's one eh? It's a fit in of a tank, ataupun tank fit in. Okay? That's the only one that can disturb the level. It's not a pump power. Pump power is constant. Okay? You boleh uh, ubah dia. Yes, you can change the pump power, but that is not a variable. Semua ikut pump power. Remember, when you're talking about disturbance, you need to be among these four variables. Chlorate, temperature, pressure, and composition. Other than that, it's wrong. Okay? So, please, betulkan nanti untuk yang ni. So usually we will, we will have uh, what we call it a table of variable analysis. Dalam tu kita akan ada banyak yang kita boleh letak first usually. If you have a multi, multiple control loops dalam uh, question or in, in a very specific exercise, then 
you need to very you need to specify which kind of control loop that you want to analyze. Kalau ada empat, ada dalam empat. Okay, control loop one, control loop two, three and four. And every that you need to specify what is or identify what is all those variables yang empat tadi. Okay, and from that there might be any uh, any additional can be any additional question asking about the control configuration, feedback, feed forward, cascade, whatsoever. Okay. Kalau nak tambah lagi, then the control objective. Why that? You need to control level. For what? Okay. To make the uh, to make the system, uh, the process stable. That's one of the reason. That's one of the objective. Oh, for this equipment safety. Pun boleh juga. Oh, for the smooth production. With that, with that controlling level, then your production cannot, cannot be smooth. For example, there must be some uh, disturb operation because of the level cannot be maintained at a certain value. Okay, tapi yang ni saya just nak tanya variable saja yang empat tu. Okay, so another example. This one is simple exercise. The, the one was all, okay, also a simple because we only have a one single input, single output controller. Okay, we only have a CISO controller. Nanti kita akan ada banyak controller and some of them maybe uh, have a certain interaction between them. Tapi ini kita tak analyze benda tu. Okay, so we look at the same at the same control uh, at the same tank, close tank whereas the objective is to maintain the level or to control a level at a certain set point value. Okay, kita tengok dulu jawapan dia. Okay. Sama je korang ni. Alright. So, by looking at this, sama je yang you all jawab ni. So, basically, all of this are and that need to be corrected. Okay, let's look at it. The same system, close tank tank, a eh, close tank, close tank system with a certain uh, level. And we have a pump since you have a, a liquid there, accumulated of the uh, liquid accumulated there. Therefore, you need to have a pump in order for you to transport it from one point to another point. And if you have a level control, uh, control valve after the pump, you measure the fit in flow rate. Your objective is to maintain the level at a certain set point value. All right. So since your LC are the same, so your control variable is tank level or level of the tank, liquid level of the tank. Okay. So where is your measurement? Measurement kat mana? So you measure at the fit in, the flow rate in. In this case, you are measuring flow rate in. And since this is the same system, therefore flow rate in is also a disturbance. So your measurement and disturbance are the same variable. So what is the control configuration? Controller genius up to Feed forward control. Feed forward controller. Okay, yeah, generico, feed forward, thank you. Kalau cakap feed forward, kena ada controller tu. Otherwise, it doesn't have any, any meaning. Okay, feed forward controller control system ataupun uh, macam label control system okay. what type of controller? feedback controller or feed forward controller okay. and the same manipulated variable you are manipulating the flow rate out okay. so ini adalah feed forward feed forward controller but 
your control variables are the same, maintaining the level by manipulating fluoride out of the tank. Dalam case ni, your measurement, uh, your measured variable and disturbance is the same. Okay, control variable sama dengan, uh, measured variable sama dengan disturbance. So, this is feed forward controller. Okay. So, please do the correction. Boleh main tinggal tinggal kau jadi tu. Jalan kapal kau baru kau tahu. Kau balik ke tu bulat kan? Jadi kau, tidak. Hei, kau tu pan jadi Christmas kau tu balik kan? Duit kan kesian kau. Jadi lah kau minum di sini ya, di sini boleh minum lah. Alright, so this is not a simple exercise. Ah, this is very very interesting. Nak tengok you all paham tak proses this? This is we call it a heated flash drum. Okay, hit the press drum. Okay, ini bukan reboil, uh, reboil apa? Reboil flash ah. So, dalam ni is not reboiling. You're not reboiling something. This is just hitting something. You're hitting the liquid. You're hitting the liquid at this flash drum such that the volatile become a vapor become vapor, then you can recover it at the top. Okay, heated flash. All right, so you have uh, one, two, three, four, five control loops. So you need to able, okay, let's look through, Marisa, hang out through. Okay, you open, you open, yeah. Okay, pipe pressure, kalau, kalau ada pipe pressure tu, ah, mula sama aja. Uhuh. Okay, very interesting. Okay, take note guys. Banyak benda yang kita boleh uh, discuss dalam ni. Alright, <clears throat> so we need to look at the individual. Once you want to do this analysis, okay, Kemungkinan besar nanti if you involve dalam you punya LI nanti next semester when you involve with the chemical company you may come up with this kind of uh, analysis. Alright, they may ask you to do this kind of analysis. So first thing first, what you're gonna do is this is only a single equipment, right? Right, only a single equipment, but you have a multiple controller. Okay, you have a lima controller. Oh, bunyi musun. Masih lagi sambut di bawah ni. Mana apa yang suka sangat, teman? Ah, dia tutup terus. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> So if you are given this kind of PFD or PNID, so first thing first, what you could do is please, kalau tak label lagi di punya numbering of the loop, then you need to number it. Okay, letak nombor, loop number one, loop number two, loop number three. So that you able to identify such that dalam you punya nanti table tu, you tahu, okay, this is loop number one. Why nanti tak keliru? Okay, let's look at the loop number one. What kind of control system of this? Control system, you are talking about control system, we are talking about control system. 
What is the control system here, Afrika? What is the control system of this loop number one? Eh, tadi dia nak jawab, nak cakap. Guys? Slow rate. Flow control system. Okay, Noha, thank you. So this is a flow control system. And what is the control configuration? What type of controller? Siapa tahu sini? Sebelum kita further discuss any, each individual control, uh, variable. Tengok pun dah tahu dah. Feedback. Okay. Yes, it's a feedback. Thank you, Noha. Selalu ni, eh, siapa yang selalu type OO panjang tu? Afika. Oh. Noha ni macam tu je. Kalau tanya satu sepatah, sepatah lah dia. Oh. <laughs> tak apa, Alice menjawab. Okay. So, this is a feedback controller for a, feed, uh, for a flow rate control system. Right? So, what we measure? What is your measured variable in this case? Loop number one. Anyone? Flurry. Salah. Kalau, kalau you, your answer is flurry, it's wrong. Because we have so many flurry here. Level, sorry, salah, Elman. Level, salah, it's not level. Loop number one. Flurry, loop. Be specific. Loop, what is what? Steam, steam level. Yeah. Steam flow rate. That is your measured variable. Steam flow rate. Kalau dalam drawing to other that specify any specific name, then you need to mention that name. Kalau tak ada, contoh yang macam uh, fit in dalam tu. Tak ada kan? So you can mention, you can mention it's a fit in to the flash. Flash fit in. Okay. So the measured variable here is the steam flow rate. So what I want to be about steam wood. Okay, you measure flow, steam flow rate, you control steam flow rate, so measurement, a measured variable, and control variable at the same. So therefore, as feedback controller, yeah, you manipulate also the same steam flow rate. So how about disturbance? What kind of disturbance? that can disturb, uh, disturb the steam flow rate. Ada ke? Ada ke? Ataupun tak ada? Sebab you punya jawapan dalam tu memang semua it's not a variable. Okay, pipe pressure lah is not a variable. Anyone? <coughs> tak ada. Tak ada? Tapi you all jawab ada sini. Ingat tak yang type 1, type 2 minggu lepas? Okay. So that is the same that, that uh, in here. When you're talking about flow rate, you control the flow rate, you measure the flow rate, you manipulate the flow rate, there is nothing can disturb the the, the, the steam flow rate. Tak ada satu yang boleh disturb steam uh, apa, flow rate. When you're talking about pressure, when you're talking about temperature, yes, there must be something. There will be something that can disturb that, that pressure or temperature, but flow rate, nothing here in this case. Okay? So, no disturbance. In this case, you don't have any disturbance at all at loop number one. Okay. And loop number two, but oh, we don't have the loop number two. Okay, I don't know. In this case, kita cuma ada, kita ada lima control valve, tapi kita cuma ada empat control loop. Sebab control valve number dua is free, you tak pakai. All right, so we don't have any variable analysis for loop number two because that is not a complete 
control system. Sebab control valve number two tak ada sambung dengan mana-mana pun controller. Okay. So no uh, variable analysis for loop number two. Or for control valve number two. So let's go for the mana ni. Control valve number three or loop number three. Okay, loop number three. What is your measured variable here? Apa yang you measure? Vapor pressure. Vapor pressure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, is one. Thank you. It's vapor pressure. Ataupun pressure of the uh, flesh mbole because what inside the flesh uh, flesh drum is the same with the uh, vapor pressure at the top okay that is your measure variable so what is your control variable Some okay. yeah the same is a vapor so vapor pressure what do you manipulate What is is your manipulated variable? Flow. Salah. Temperature. Salah. Opening valve. No, that is not variable. We are talking about variable. Pressure. Um, composition. Composition. Guys, let's say the checkup below me. When you're talking about Manipulating variable, manipulated variable, we are just talking about flow rate. Nothing that, nothing than that. Tapi dalam case ni kalau your flow rate strong because that is not be specific. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> you need to be specific with what kind of flow rate. Which flow rate? No, huh? Flow rate. Yeah, can do. Vapor flow rate. Vapor flow rate. Be specific because you are talking about a single specific fluoride. Sebab fluoride ada banyak. Sama macam steam tadi. If your if your answer is just uh, fluoride, then it's wrong. Sebab dalam ni ada banyak fluoride. Okay? Be specific. So, the manipulated variable is the vapor fluoride. Okay. Oh, laju man kau borak. Usuk upor oh, sampai tangan mu oh, jari aku. Okay, man. Okay, man. Betul, betul, betul. Kita tak dengar. <laughs> Alright, so what? Okay, in this case, we are talking about the whole system. Which variable, the four variable that can disturb the flash drum pressure. What variables, temperature, pressure, flow uh, rate, and also composition of any stream that can disturb pressure of the flash drum? Temperature. What temperature? Very specific. What temperature? Uh, vapor temperature. Vapor temperature. Macam mana vapor temperature boleh berubah? Then it will disturb the, uh, the vapor. No. Temperature of the tank. Temperature of the tank. Mm, not really. Apa jadi kalau temperature of the tank naik? Now, when you want to answer this kind of question, you need to do some simple analysis. Okay, if the uh, the uh, tank temperature is a disturbance, what will happen? Kalau temperature to naik, adakah terus vapor berubah? Uh, vapor, uh, vapor pressure berubah? Ataupun temperature tu akan disturb variable yang lain dulu? Okay. It is indirectly, it can disturb the, uh, the vapor pressure but not significant lagi any idea any guess of the liquid in the tank 
temperature of the liquid in the tank, which is also the same with the temperature of the uh, restaurant or the tank? No. In this case, this sorry. Vapor chloride is already manipulated, so it cannot be a disturbance. Apa yang boleh disturb pressure dalam tank ni? Composition. Composition? Tak ada, tak ada. Entahlah, rasa macam tak ada je. Ada. Steam fluoride no? Steam fluoride tak ada kaitan sebab steam fluoride tu dalam coil, dalam dalam pipe. Dia tak masuk pun, dia tak bercampur pun dalam tank tu. It's not a steam fluoride. Jawapan dia adalah feed pressure. Kalau feed pressure berubah, naik turun, apa jadi dengan pressure dalam tank? Dalam press drum ni? Berubah ke tak berubah? Berubah. Okay. Man, temperature is not the answer. Okay. It's just a feed stream. Eh, sorry. Feed pressure. Kalau level pun, atau uh, kalau feed flow rate pun berubah, it's not a disturbance. Okay, let's say kalau tengok. Kalau feed flow rate naik, apa yang akan berubah dulu? Adakah pressure berubah kalau feed flow rate uh, berubah? Ya ke mana? Eh, Kazu. Kalau feed flow rate berubah, yang akan berubah adalah level. Ya, betul lah Zah. Level yang akan berubah dulu. Sebab that is direct. Bila level dah naik, then barulah pressure akan berubah. Sebab ruang untuk vapor tu dah jadi kecil. Ataupun dia, kalau uh, level turun, dia menjadi besar. Jadi flow rate, uh, pressure akan drop. Remember, this is a closed tank. It's not an open tank. Kalau open tank, then level naik turun takkan kacau disturbance. Eh, takkan kacau pressure. Tapi that is secondary. Flow rate nak berubah. Yang berubah dulu adalah level. Lepas tu baru pressure. Tapi yang directnya adalah fit temp, uh, pressure. Fit pressure berubah? Yes. Pressure akan directly berubah. Kalau fit temperature berubah, yang akan berubah dulu adalah level juga bukannya pressure but most uh, some of the uh, liquid dalam tu akan vaporize okay drop and since you have more pressure then the uh, more more vapor accumulated then uh, pressure will change will drop ataupun will increase <coughs> ada lagi Oh, sorry. How? Oh, no. Angin banyak. How about uh, steam pressure? Will the steam pressure disturb the uh, the drum pressure? <coughs> Boleh tak? Kenapa ya, Kenzo? Sebab. Nuha cakap no. Tadi dia 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 on mic ni dia dah malu dah. Kanzul Nora cak eh, Nuha cakap no. Okey, saya ikut Nuha. Kenapa kau ikut Nuha? Selama ni kau ikut Sufi je. <coughs> no because it's all okay. Ya, yeah, betul Hazik. Muhammad Hazik. Sebab benda tu dalam coil, dalam pipe, dia tak bercampur pun. Dengan liquid, dengan vapor dalam drum tu, dalam fish drum. It's a different boundary already. So, if your steam pressure berubah-ubah kan daripada apa, uh, high pressure steam ataupun low pressure steam pergi kepada medium pressure steam, uh, steam. Tapi since benda tu berada dalam pipe, therefore pressure dalam apa dalam dalam fresh drum akan berubah. Yang akan berubah adalah level. Sebab level, when you have a different pressure steam, you have a different heat capacity supply, have different heat supply to the liquid. Jadi, 
some of the component the liquid will will vaporize and that make kalau lagi banyak vaporize then will make will make the label drop okay so jawapan dia satu saja which is a feed pressure direct feed pressure berubah tinggi ke rendah directly it will affect the column ataupun the drum pressure the rest is not a disturbance okay so this also a feedback controller okay wow the 940 cepatnya masa okay so kita tengok kepada loop number 4 apa control system ni level control system yeah this is a level control system what do you measure here? What variable do you measure? Level of liquid inside the reactor. Asik, ini bukan reactor. Ini adalah flash drum. Ah, uh, flash drum. Okay, ataupun senang saja, flash drum level. Okay. Kalau nak tulis simbol, H flash drum level of flash drum what you, that is your measurement variable so what is your control variable come on again <coughs> but you are the lc in situ so your measure variable is a level of the flash drum your control variable is also level of the flash drum so what kind of what kind of controller is Measurement dengan control adalah sama. Okay. Feedback controller. Alright. Uh, Azhar is wrong. It's not feedback control. It's a feedback controller. Yang tadi itu siapa? Muhammad. Uh, Elman pun salah. It's a feedback controller. Azhi, uh, Hairul Zafuan. Feedback is wrong. It's a feedback controller. Okay. So it's a feedback controller. So what, where, uh, what is your manipulated variable here? Liquid flow rate outlet. Liquid outlet. Outlet to become variable. Liquid flow rate. So liquid dalam tu ditulis liquid kan kasih tu. Kita so, naikkan lah. Okay, it's a liquid flow rate. That is your manipulated variable. Okay, disturbance. Ini menarik ni disturbance. Kita ada yang masuk dalam sistem dan keluar kita ada dua input, dua output stream. Eh, dua input and tiga output stream. So, which variable of these five stream that can directly disturb the level of this flash drum? Variable lah, ada empat tadi. Apa dia? Inlet flow. Inlet? Flow rate. Flow rate. Okay. That's right. That is directly will disturb. Kalau flow rate in tadi tu berubah naik ke turun uh, besar ataupun uh, small, then yes, level will directly will change. Any other variable that can disturb level? Remember, when you're talking about disturbance, it can be no disturbance at all, it can be only one, it can be more. That, that's why the knowledge of the process, the understanding of the process is very important. Rasa-rasanya, selain daripada flow rate in tu, ada tak lagi yang boleh disturb level dalam ni? Okay, Azhar tanya, steam temperature bolehkah jadi sebagai disturbance? Is that possible for the steam temperature to be a disturbance for this level controller or level system, level control system? Can or not? Yes or no?
Saya rasa tak. Kena penuh ha? Kenapa tak? Se sebab reason dia sama macam Haziq kasih tadi. Sebab uh, pressure steam tu dia takkan efek. Sebab steam tu dia, dia dalam coil. Dia takkan apa steam temperature. Kalau steam temperature berubah, adakah level akan berubah? Berubah. Kanzo cakap berubah. Kenapa kau tak ikut Noha? Selalu kau ikut Noha. Eh. <laughs> cakap follower Noha ke? Tiba-tiba. Okey, Haziq Zainuddin cakap berubah. Banyak Makin banyak liquid evaporated jadi vapor. Okay. Azman cakap yes. Alright. It's good. Lagi-lagi-lagi. Is it possible that steam temperature be a disturbance? Adakah bila steam temperature tu berubah, level pun akan berubah terus? Indirectly. No. Eh, Azman yeah. tadi cakap yes. Dia tiba-tiba cakap no pula. Kanzo, indirectly, yes, it's indirectly. Kaya macam giling-giling kepala ke? Giling-giling kepala tu tahu ke atau tak tahu? <laughs> okay, let's analyze. Very simple analysis. Steam, temperature berubah. Apa yang akan berubah dulu? Pressure. Pressure, no. Indirectly, sebab suhu pelan-pelan naik. Suhu apa yang naik? Be specific. What kind of temperature that will change? Steam temperature berubah. Apa yang akan berubah dulu? Which variable that will change first? It is indirect. Yeah. I agree with your answer. Kanzul answer in some of your friend answer. Yes, it is indirectly. Jadi aku cakap indirect. Tapi apa yang variable yang mana yang berubah dulu? <coughs> Adakah kalau steam berubah, steam temperature berubah, liquid level akan berubah? Ataupun kalau bukan liquid level berubah, so which variable yang akan berubah dulu? <coughs> Ingat Yang direct, dia kena direct impact. Macam tadi kita tengok apa pressure... Uh, Disturbance of the pressure control adalah feed pressure. Pressure will affect pressure. Dalam kes ini, kalau temperature, then it will affect temperature first. So, temperature mana yang akan berubah dulu kalau steam temperature berubah? <coughs> It's not quite temperature. Yang akan berubah adalah teram tu. Flash drum temperature. Ya, yeah, liquid temperature in the drum. Flash drum temperature dulu yang akan berubah. Kalau steam temperature berubah. So, kalau flash drum temperature berubah, exceeded some of the boiling point of the component inside here, then some of them will be priced and level will change. Level will drop. Since level drop and you have more vapor accumulated, then and the composition will change also vapor flow of pressure inside the drum also will change so steam temperature is not a disturbance for a level controller sebab yang akan berubah dulu adalah kolam ataupun drum temperature jika temperature first ok so ada lagi tak Do you think that there is a disturbance that can, or variable that can change the level? So in this case, tak ada. Sebab dia kena direct-direct. If your control variable is liquid, eh sorry, it's a level, therefore yang, the only variable that can change it is flow rate. So which flow rate? Heat flow rate. So, If your control variable is a pressure, then the only pressure that can disturb it, which is the feed pressure. And lepas tu barulah ada indirect ataupun secondary uh, disturbance. Okay?
How about no? No, Azhar. It's not a primary. It's not a primary disturbance. Impact dia sebab yang berubah dulu adalah temperature. Temperature of the drum dulu yang berubah. Kita look it inside the drum dulu yang berubah dulu. Lepas tu baru akan ada impact terhadap variable yang lain. <coughs> so it's not direct. Okay, if you think that there is no any other fluid, uh, sorry, a variable that can disturb the level. So how about <coughs> the liquid fluid? Ataupun, yeah. Can be a liquid fluoride become a disturbance? Can liquid fluoride be a disturbance to the level control system in this case? Yes. Kenapa yes, Kanzo? Ada yang tanya soalan tadi. <coughs> Boleh tak level fluoride jadi disturbance untuk of uh, level pula. Liquid fluoride is a disturbance. Can liquid fluoride be a disturbance for level control system? Kan Zul cakap yes. Kata pun nak tukar jawapan. Yang liquid fluoride tu yang kat? Tu nampak liquid tu tu bawah tu. Yang bawah tu kan? Hmm. Boleh doktor. Kenapa kalau, boleh? Kalau dia keluar banyak, level turun lah. Good. Kan itu adalah kau punya magnetic variable. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Mana boleh pakai lagi? It's already become your magnetic variable, so it cannot be used as a disturbance. You cannot declare it as a disturbance. It's already manipulated because you already put the control valve there. <clears throat> All right. So please, any variable associated with the control valve, okay, you cannot use it as a. Uh, for example, the liquid. When you're talking about control valve, you're talking about fluoride. So any fluoride associated with the control valve, you can use it as a disturbance or you can, since it's already manipulated, but you can measure it. But you can use it as a, or declare it as a, a disturbance. Memang dia akan setiap berubah, so it's already manipulated. You open, close the valve, then the fluoride will change. So it's not a disturbance, it's a manipulated variable. Okay. All right. That is the loop number four. Then we go to the last one. The fluoride control system of loop number five is a fluoride control system of loop number five. So this is exactly the same with the uh, control uh, flow control uh, system for loop number one. Exactly the the big one. Same. Tumor. Yeah. You control uh, feed fluoride, you measure feed fluoride, you manipulate feed fluoride, therefore you don't have any disturbance. No disturbance. So this is a feedback controller. Question. Sebelum kita pergi kepada next. Ada ke next? Aku dah lama tak tengok yang ni. Is there any question, guys? Oh no, that this is gonna be the last one. Yeah, ada dengar bunyi tu siapa? Tak ada, tak ada soalan. Tak ada soalan. Faham semua? <coughs> Please, okay, this is very important things that you need to really, really understand it. Because when you're talking about plant operation, when you're talking about plant management, you need to have some diagram for your references. The only diagram available out there in your plan is either PFD or PNID. For me, if you ask me which one that you need to prefer, as a re, uh, you, you need to prefer as a reference, I would like 
to have PNID rather than PFD. So in the PNID, you have a lot of information. You have a lot of data there. This is not what I've shown here. This is not uh, PNID yet. So <coughs> you to add the alarm. You don't have any uh, uh, safety valve, safety relief valve. You don't have uh, any uh, discharge valve. You don't have any vent valve. You don't have any bypass valve. Okay, this is uh, just a simple. I can call this PFD. Ataupun, yeah, control uh, system diagram only, but it's not a PNID. So when you are given nanti, next semester, you pass up industry, you bagi your PNID, how you want to read it? How you want to understand it? That is one of the most important knowledge that you need to know now, sebelum you melangkah masuk ke industry. I know there is no specific uh, clause that uh, specifically teach you about this pen ID. Ada tak? Specific only to read and understand pen ID, piping and instrumentation diagram. Start from the transforming, ataupun not transforming. Uh, Converting the block diagram into PFD and from PFD you convert into pen ID. That is the most important knowledge that you need to have. Easily, dalam industry you will have, will be given a block law diagram, PFD. Okay, you have the block uh, reaction, reactor punya block, reaction block. Pas reaction block, you have the uh, separation block. Uh, that is a block. It's only have a block. You're only given a block. What happened with my camera? Uh, I mean, that blind, uh, blind, uh, a human scope view. Okay, DSR. DSLR. Okay. Nanti saya bagi link. Okay, terima kasih. Tapi you kena ni lah terus. Okay. Baik yang bayar dia ya, kalau kita nak kod tu, diskon kod. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> eh, hilang lagi. Ayuh, ayuh, ayuh. Ataupun tak habis bateri. So, saya pakai handphone. Handphone as a camera. So, sama my punya laptop tak ada built-in camera. Alright. Uh, kat mana kita? Okay, block dia ke. So, from you need to able to transfer to transform the block process diagram into a PFD. PFD ini adalah senang saja. You transfer the block, contohnya block reactor, reaction punya block tu, you tukar kepada any specific reactor. CSTR ke, macam kita dah tengok sebelum ni, kita ada a batch stir tank reactor ke, feed batch, a feed batch, a Stir tank reactor ke ataupun CSTR Untuk liquid ataupun kalau you nak gas you can use a, a Plug flow reactor It can be continuous, it can be batch, it can be semi batch Once you're transforming the, the, the block into a unit operation We call it process flow diagram You have a separation block, dalam tu mungkin ada macam-macam yang kita dah cover Sebelum ini, it can be a absorber, it can be a flash, it can be a revolving absorber, it can be condensed absorber, it can be a distillation column, it, or it can be a, a refinery. Okay. So from the block, the information is very limited, but we can understand the process. And once we transform it into PFD, we have an extra information because we have a specific Unit operation. We have a specific reactor. We have a very specific separator. Yang kita dah tengok ada tujuh separator. Minggu lepas ke dua minggu lepas. Okay. Yang all of you memang fail kat situ. Okay. Yang you all tahu distribution column saja. So that's important here. Kalau dalam tu macam ni, this is about flash. 
Belum lagi kita operate distillation column. Belum lagi kita operate refinery. Imagine kalau refinery itu, how many control loops have available there? Ha, bayangkan. Ini satu, kalau ada dalam you punya PFD itu, ada lima separator. Imagine how many control loops that you need to analyze. Okay. So that's why PFD understanding ataupun synthesizing or developing PNID is for me is the most important thing yang you need to kalau boleh baca pun cukup lah ok kalau boleh baca pun dah cukup sebab bila when you're talking about a process in industry we are talking about PNID okay, that is the language that not only you as a process uh, in, uh, technologies tapi juga kepada mechanical technologies kepada electrical technologies they understand it sebab dalam tu ada unit operation ada pump ada all those auxiliary yang mana chemical technology pun belajar dalam tu ada instrumentation ada sensor ada alarm yang mana electrical technologies pun belajar so they understand it but thing that they don't understand it is the process because they are not process technologies all of you are process technology sebab tu there is advantage as a process technologies or process engineer after, saya kena bezakan sebab selama ni memang saya mengajar engineer dan semester tiba-tiba mengajar teknologi so you need to able to understand that you are in term of process knowledge are much higher than other engineer yang lain sebab tu dalam satu plan yang akan end up as a manager bukan engineer yang lain bukannya civil engineer uh, bukannya civil technology okay, kalau tak ada engineer then you all akan jadi uh, manager usually they will uh, prefer engineer yang akan jadi manager tapi kalau tak ada then you all boleh jadi uh, manager It's not a electrical technology, it's not a mechanical technology, it's a process technology yang at the end akan easily end up as a manager. Because you learn the process, you learn the control, you learn the design, they don't le learn design at all. Diorang tak belajar reactor, diorang tak belajar separator. Walaupun bila saya test ramai yang fail, tapi tak apa, this is still a learning process. They don't design this thing and they don't understand at all the process. They tak tahu pun yang mana variable ni akan, akan disturb a pressure, yang mana variable ni akan disturb level. No, they don't know that. They don't learn that in very specific, but you, the one yang belajar pun ini. So, that's why my side, my opinion, sebelum you graduate, because I know this is your last semester, please try to learn more in understanding piping and instrumentation diagram sebab dalam piping instrumentation diagram they will have a different coding of stream different naming lah paling senang the naming of stream which corresponding to different uh, material use uh, different thickness different diameter dalam tu dah ada information dalam tu and from that Information itulah yang akan civil engineer pakai untuk fabricate the piping, fabricate the vessel. Okay. Tapi don't tahu tu je. Kalau ada code tu, scan scan tu, tu is more on the uh, mechanical punya standard. So bila don't dapat tengok code, okay, di sini kita kena pakai standard steel. Oh, ini kita kena pakai carbon steel. Di sini kita kena scan scan scan. Tebal ni scan scan scan. Because that is based on whatever process that you have designed. Technologies, process technology and design. Okay, because that is your advantage. Right? So that's why 
Sebab tu saya selama ni saya tak sentuh lagi konten ada dalam dalam kita punya kursus ni. I'm just a little bit worried about your prior knowledge. Okay, your prior knowledge. Dan juga I will, I'm worried about your apa tu ke preparation sebelum nak masuk industri nanti. Tunjukkan yang you all as a technologist, process technologies from UTHM ni is the best technologies ever produced by UTHM, ever produced in Malaysia. Because you learn a lot. Kalau you kerja ataupun praktik dalam ya, chemical plant nanti kan. Kalau you kerja as a apa? As a uh, insurance punya people tu then Maksudnya apa yang you belajar, you tak boleh nak practice lah benda tu. Okay. You learn, you learn a lot from year one, semester one lagi. Apa chemical process. Apa apa yang kita dah dah dah, dah cover dalam onion layer tu. Biasa kan kita dah buat yang awal-awal kan. Onion layer tu. That is basically your knowledge. And that's why for me this is important for you to map it at what kind of level of operation ataupun uh, proses supaya you boleh tahu okey sepatutnya uh, that, kalau reaktor ni saya dah faham dah so, dah belajar dalam chemical reaction okey this uh, waste treatment sepatutnya tak ada masalah because we have cover there okay. control pun sepatutnya tak ada masalah because we have already cover before this uh, POM that's why POM ni should be the last the last course that you need to take before you graduate, before you go for your practical. Okay. Supaya you don't have a, what you talk about, you can reduce that gap to, to prepare you for the real one. Okay, to prepare you for the real one. That's why most of the activity yang kita akan pakai selepas ni, especially on Wednesday, yang kita akan guna, is more on chemical process, but not really real, it can be a Mickey Mouse chemical process or the one that is uh, we can create it, you can create it but the detail is representing ataupun my making the real industrial okay. and how that you want to do the operation how that you come up with the step by step of the pre-commissioning the activity, the startup activity based on the real process. Not just like we give you all those notes. Not to book any time believe you, but how you want to practice it. So this is the problem. Representing the real problem and try to solve it. Discuss. More on group at the team discussion. So I can add a activity and believe that can team believe can group. The reason is you need to develop your team working skill, communication skill, discussion skill, okay? presentation skill. Presentation is not you just you present to me as your instructor or as your lecturer, but you need to be able to present to your teammate. Okay? Remember that you all are the proper. In number orang, kalau saya ada one company, I want to hire all of you. 60%, I need to find the best one. Kalau ada kosong tiga, so I need to find the top three. So, how I want to select the top three, is not about your, your search, it's not about your CGPA. Okay? Certification is all of you are the same. You are graduating with the same certification, with the same degree, the same degree. Okay? But one thing that I want to see, that I want to see every sing, in every single of you is only what makes you different from others. Right. Yeah, step around, you are able to identify this. Know how you need to able to identify what makes you different with Kanzu. What makes you different with the Kayum. Not in terms of 
the knowledge that you have gained, you have together for about four years now already. So about the knowledge, everything, everybody should be the same level. But what makes you different? Ah, itu yang you kena highlight. So that's the thing that you need to highlight when you go for the interview. When you all uh, call for interview, maksudnya, you punya sijil tu, dah tak pakai dah. Because that is the first thing that uh, employer look at. Look at your sijil. Qualify ke tak qualify? Once you call for interview, it's not about sijil. It's not about your CGPA. It's about you. You nak kerja tu, macam mana you nak buktikan yang you tu memang layak untuk kerja ni? As a technologist for this uh, chemical company, how you prove that you are able and how you want to show that you will be selected for that position? That's why what makes you different, you can uh, able to identify right now. What kind of ability that you have, Payum, yang mana tong tak ada? Yang mana Syahir tak ada benda tu? Yang mana kawan-kawan yang lain, Muhammad Haziq Izzahuddin tak ada benda tu? Muhammad Haziq Izzahuddin pun tak ada. But you only have that. Apa dia? If you able to find it, I will guarantee that you dapat kerja tu. Okay? Tapi kalau nak identify distillation column dengan kolom lain pun tak tahu lah. Itu masalah lah. Remember that's why benda ni you kena tengok balik. Doesn't mean you are already passed that you forget it. No. Pass, pass lah. Sebab tu cakap benda tu. Once you have call, you have call for interview, you punya pointer semua tu dah tak kira dah. So now it's depend on you. Depend on me. Okay. I have a knowledge in doing this, this, this. We have an experience in solving this, this in our POM class. Okay. We have able to discuss it and come up with this solution together. All this solution is come, not only from me as a team member, but it's the whole team member come together to come up with this solution. So that means that you have a team working skill, very team working skill there. Not as a, also as a team member, but also as a uh, leader of the team ataupun is uh, kita selalu kita panggil dia sebagai moderator of the team of the team okay. oh i have, I have this is, i have this kind of experience conducting this kind of uh, activity during my undergraduate studies for four years okay. i've involved with this where i contribute i contributed in collecting the the fund for this uh, CSR activity. Uh, there is another skill. Macam mana you boleh tarik, cari sponsor of conducting as, as a certain CSR activity. Uh, itu another skill uh, which is not related to your knowledge. But that is also a skill which is required right now. Especially during this pandemic. Okay, that's the advantage. Ya, okay, lah. Find out why you are different. Believe me, kalau you tak boleh identify it now, then you can identify it in future. Sama juga tak dirty. If there's still missing there, then you still have opportunity to develop it, to inculcate it in this, within this semester. Especially the communication skill, that's very important. How you respond, how that you communicate with each other, responding also is very important. If your friend asks you your opinion, so make sure that you're able to express your opinion, appreciate your people, your, your, your teammate experience, uh, opinion, for example, during your discussion. That is one of the important skills. Yang mana kita can try to use it in this, uh, in this course. But to say, I would like to prefer more on the team activity rather than making lecture okay that i'm not good in lecturing okay i'm not good in lecturing but i'm good in facilitating 
and could in uh, provoking you to learn, provoking you to do this discussion. So, lepas ni kita akan, uh, especially on Wednesday and also Thursday, kita akan select you, we can put you in the breakout room and we do a lot of discussion during the three hours on Wednesday and also another three hours on Thursday. If you want problem, discuss it, especially for the chapter one, pre-commissioning, and then after that, come up with the solution. We need to facilitate you how that you okay. so don't expect me to give lecture. Let's come back to lecture. Okay, we can address the lecture. Kata tak buat masa. Tengah-tengah malam ni pula naik ke slow. Ni lah dia tengah membebel ni. Okay guys. So let's uh, go for the next. So hopefully better you. Okay. Jangan jangan malu buat silap lah. Masa belajar ni jangan malu buat silap. Biasalah. Mistake always happen. Tapi kalau you silap waktu waktu you kerja, then tak ada maaf. Okay. Sama ada you kena part, kena warning, ataupun you kena denda, turun gaji, ataupun you kena buang kerja. So don't ever make mistake when you are in industry. Sebab one simple mistake, okay, impact dia akan berjadi besar. Boleh kilang you boleh meletup, boleh terbakar, whatever. But if you have a mistake here during this class, tak ada impact pun. You can basically lagi bagus sebab you tahu mana you punya silap. Contoh sekarang, why that I spend masa banyak untuk revisit what you have learned previously? Because I would like to uh, know your basic understanding of this. Okay, uh, especially on the process, uh, on the chemical process. Because understanding that uh, kenapa tak ada kamera ni? Yelah. Because understanding that is very important. That's why I know the way, where are you, you are at now. So what basically that I need to do, you to challenge. To do for you, to challenge you basically to recall back what you have learned. Now that is most challenging thing that I need to do now. Otherwise, Nanti kalau saya terus kepada what that you need to cover all the, all the content for this uh, POM class nanti you pun masih lagi terfikir apa benda pula ni because most of you especially cannot you know, differentiate between the certain uh, unit operation with the other unit operation especially which is the most important in chemical process reactor and separated. Okay. Not just only knowing the name but know the function. I, that is very important. Okay, so this is going to be the last for this uh, introduction uh, part. Oh, introduction for because me, it's a bulan for introduction saja. Hopefully that you have learned something. Kalau tak banyak pun sikit. Okay, dengar-dengar saya membebel ni, that's normal. Okay, kalau you dengar your parent membebel pun, that's basically that's normal. Your lecturer, your parents, your whatever superior, ataupun nanti your boss membebel because there is something that they need you to know. They, there is something that they need you to learn. Okay? Kalau dia tak membebel, maksudnya dia tak ambil kisah. Pantak lah. 
as easily. But those who are take uh, care of you, taking care of you, and they know that there must be something that you need to learn about, then they will start from Babel and be same, be same. Okay? As now I already know your basic uh, fundamental knowledge, and that I know that there must be there. There are a lot of things that all of you need to need to be uh, need to to do. And the simplest way that we can do is more on the team activity. Okay. First thing is it will help you in a real situation in the real industries because the real industry food is all about teamwork. It's all about uh company activity company performance is not about you individual performance but the alarm company is not you the only one who do the work who is responsible for all the work is basically uh, the whole company and you will be divided into several several sections or several team okay so we are preparing you for those for that real experience okay so ada apa nak tanya sepanjang almost one month okay kita kelas kelas cuti banyak kelas cancel kelas lagi okay so hopefully that you already come up with this infographic uh, believe me most uh, oh no how are you go kena dating dia tak makan tengah uh, tengah malam lagi. Most of the activity that we can be we will do starting this Wednesday is something like this: infographic summary, individual uh, infographic summary, uh, team ataupun group summary, activity summary. Everything start with the individual and then come up with the from the individual. You need to come up with the infographic, for example, untuk infographic, yeah? untuk chapter one, you need to do individually. Then you do that in your team. Develop a summary, contohnya, untuk chapter one for in, uh, for your team. And after that, if one of your friend, one of your teammate don't understand, okay, some of the summary in in your team, then it is your responsibility to make them understood. Okay? Sebab nanti pun dalam, you, bila you kerja nanti, when you have a team, if you want your team to perform, you tak boleh tinggalkan salah seorang ke belakang. Kena tarik dia sama-sama. Otherwise, your team akan jadi slow. Because one of your teammate is lag behind. Tinggalkan dia, you tak tarik dia pun bersama-sama. So, it's your task as a teammate to make sure that everybody understand what is the output, the deliverables of your team activity. Ada banyak team activity saya akan kita buat. Okay, the team saya akan guna what apa uh, Dr. Hazid dah, dah bagi tu. So, the only thing that is uh, I will start creating a problem Okay, so that we can come up with the solution, especially on this plan commissioning and the startup. Okay, and make sure everybody okay, able to grab the important knowledge. Grabbing the important knowledge is basically depend on your prior knowledge. So make sure mantap kan dulu. Okay, all those uh, basic fundamental of chemical processes semua kena mantapkan dulu okay especially on the reactor dan juga separator believe me you pergi mana-mana pun plan dua tu takkan lari that is the major equipment yeah okay uh, i need to stop this uh, recording and recording this i can upload this one